is the second year that the Hyde Group have sponsored a Make It Enterprising Challenge and this year we're also working in partnership with the Northwest Aerospace Alliance. We've got 13 different schools represented here today from across Greater Manchester, they're year nine pupils and they've all been tasked with creating a new PEPS vehicle or aircraft which is to protect people, the environment or property. Um, their ideas so far have been really great, we're really pleased with them and so we're very much looking forward to hearing their pitches this afternoon. I just think today is a magnificent approach to what is usually a difficult area, manufacturing, trying to get young children, young kids enthused in manufacturing, it is usually almost impossible, it's a conundrum. And I think if we can just transfer even just 10, 15% of the energy, enthusiasm, imagination that we can see in this room today into a career in manufacturing in high skill jobs, then I just think the future economy for Chainside, the future economy of the UK is in good hands because some of the things I've seen today have been magnificent and I just hope that they can actually transfer those into real, real blue sky thinking taking place here today. A great day. Our company is called Eco Wings and we're going to make a plane called the HELP 2000. We're going to try and make, help as many people as possible and we're going to make it very environmentally friendly so that we can help the environment. It's going to have solar panels all around it that will collect sunlight and turn it into energy so the plane is more environmental friendly. We're going to have um, infrared and x-ray vision so we can take pictures of inside the volcanoes to make sure that volcanoes are more dormant than what they seem to make sure that if there's any like natural disasters we can find them out so that there's a warning towards other people. It's going to be a, a controlled by autopilot which means that if it does crash or get in any danger no one will be killed. We've learned a lot about what we're going to do with the plane by the um, presentation that we've heard and we're going to try and use as much information as we can as possible to make sure that our plane is more useful. We've learned um, that like, the news normally turn manufacturing into like, a boring factory job but we've learned that it's got a lot more opportunities and um, you can work your way up to a very very good job and high pay. Northwest Aerospace Alliance really recognise how important young people are to the future of our industry. So we've just launched a new campaign called Take Off in Aerospace. The Manufacturing Institute is a key partner within this campaign. We've been working with the Manufacturing Institute to make it campaign for several years now. These enterprising challenges are now forming a really key part of the work that we're trying to do. This is the first of six aerospace themes events that we'll be running this year. And this is, uh, I'm really happy to be here for this first event. Well, I'm a privilege for the high group to be involved uh, in today's event. We did it last year. Uh, we had fewer schools last year. It's been a really good turnout this year. Uh, shows the popularity of the event. We as a local employer uh, find that gaining uh, capable young people or bringing capable young people into our industry has traditionally been very difficult because of the nature of what we do and the reputation that it has. Manufacturing in the UK has suffered from a bad publicity, uh, bad public relations over the years. It's deemed to be dirty um, and not particularly a, a nice environment for people to want to work in. Good seeing all these young people in here who are, to all intents and purposes, a blank sheet of paper at this stage. 13-year-old um, kids who have no real comprehension of what they really want to do at this stage in life. But maybe through today's activity we might be able to give them a little bit of food for thought of what they want to, might want to do in the next four or five years in terms of the choices that they make, uh, in terms of the A-levels that they may or may not want to take, and what their future career may be up to undergraduate, postgraduate level, because engineering can offer them all sorts of opportunities at whatever level they choose to leave education.